So brief game, since each object that moves that we identify, and then once based on the camera angle, um, kind of the, the brief cam system figures out where the exact horizon is um, in the scene. So we can go, uh, let's for example, go to a silver alert case, which has five different cameras. And on the right are like a, the different global filters, and one of them is speed. So based off the horizon, the system kind of knows the size of the object, and then based off of how quickly it's moving across the scene, that's how it figures out the speed. So you can, for example, um, this is a histogram of the objects. Most of them are moving slowly just because it's kind of a parking lot and there's a lot of pedestrians. But if we did want to filter, for example, on just the vehicles going I don't know, around 30 miles per hour or faster, then the system is filtered down and you can see that there's instead of almost 900 objects it found 13 of them that match um, what it thinks are our filters so for example we go to this object at 1044 you can actually see it's speeding pretty quickly through an intersection which may or may not be common um, but this can be used for example to filter out this can be used in a drive-by shooting it could be used for whenever pedestrians are, you know, let's say a lot of them are running where they shouldn't be. So kind of a quick way to filter out the, the slower versus faster moving objects. If we also wanted to be alerted, for example, in real time, instead of just reviewing past video, uh, we can go over to the respond module. Uh, we can set up an alert. And then let's pick, for example, a bus station. We know that people should be going pretty slowly just because there's going to be a lot of people, a lot of activity. So if we, for example, picked to those, and let's also do motorcycles. And then we know the speed limit's 35. So let's let's do anything faster than 55. And then we could also set up an area. So anytime that the objects are moving faster here, then we could get an alert. So anytime this happened, we'd get an alert right away. But if we wanted to kind of do some traffic studies, we can also go and use the research module and see what times of day people are speeding, how often, what types of vehicles, and then maybe um, set up different uh, police officers over there just to know that, uh, for example, um, this is the different histogram um, throughout the day. Uh, we can see the average speed, and for example, for speeding cars seems to be the, the highest amount of violations. So if we went over to this dashboard, we can see that the different data throughout the throughout the day, throughout the time. And now in this case, the motorcycles are actually the fastest, which makes sense just in general, driving faster than vehicles. And if we drill down just on them, then we can see during what times of day. So it looks like around five o'clock. Um, that's when they go the fastest because that's rush hour. So they might be speeding uh, through vehicles. So kind of a, a good way to visualize um, any issues that you're looking for in terms of speeding and react accordingly.